hey, are you someone like me that was looking to discover my gift but didn't really have clarity on what my gift was? Are you someone that wants to live in your maximum potential but you need help being able to unlock the things that are so close to you? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over the four questions of purpose that will absolutely help you gain clarity into your purpose and how you can leverage your gifts so you can monetize your gift online and offline. So stay tuned here because I'm gonna go very quickly and I'm gonna go step by step to really take you through a process of discovery so you can design that gift that you wanna to release to your work and deliver it in record time. Now here's the thing about these four questions. These four questions will absolutely inspire you, will absolutely unlock some things inside of you, but only if you are paying attention and you open up your heart and ears to listen to what I'm about to share with you. I have shared this concept and principles with thousands of people around the world in various different masterclasses, online trainings, challenges, and every single time the result is the same. People cry, people get clarity, they get moments of catharsis because they finally for the first time realize that the things that they struggled with, all of it had purpose in their life to be able to help them to help others. So let's dive in. The first question of purpose is what do you love to do? And this is a question that a lot of people say, well, what do you mean, Israel, what do I love to do? Well, write it down. What do you love to do? What is that thing that you do that gets you excited about life, that gets you almost like you have like a sense of, of dopamine when you do it and when you help others in that area? So it, for some of you, it could be that you love to cook. For some of you, it could be that you love helping people get clarity with how to grow wealth. For some of you, it could be helping people get clarity on how to better take care of their health, right? Uh, their health and the relationships, right? Maybe you're a counselor. Maybe you're, you have a passion to help people avoid the mistakes you've made growing up. Maybe you're someone to help people improve their credit score. What is the thing that you love to do? Write it down because I'm going to share with you what that reveals in a moment. The second question is, what do you hate? What do you hate is the second question. I know it's a powerful word because most people say to me, well, Israel, I don't hate anything. Well, here's the thing I'll say to you. Hate is a strong word, but I have to use the word hate because if you love, you also hate. The Bible says that God is love, right? We know that God is love. It doesn't say that God has love. It says that God is love. But at the same time, the Bible also says in the book of Proverbs that there's six things that the Lord hates. Yes, seven things are an abomination unto his sight. So you're not more righteous than God. So write it down. What is the thing that you hate? I'll tell you the thing that I hate. The thing that I hate is the system that keeps people bound from not unlocking their gifts and the things that they have inside of them. I hate the system of ignorance that keep people back from knowing their identity so they can live in their maximum potential. That's what I hate, and I'm gonna write, and I'm gonna show you what it means in a moment. So write it down. The third question of purpose is the question, what makes you cry? Now this question is a question that many times people, they don't want to even go over this because they feel that I'm a man, I don't cry. And sometimes people have so much pride that they can't actually admit that they actually cry. Here's what I'm gonna say to you. Every human being has something that spiritually, emotionally touches them, right? And if you're someone that's so hard and you can't, you can't actually emote and you can't be empathetic with people, I'm here to tell you that you, there may be some healing that you need, but that's another video, another conversation for another day. But what I'm gonna tell you is the things that made me cry or make me cry are seeing orphans and widows in their affliction. You see, when my dad passed at 29 years old, I was only about three months when my dad passed, and growing up, I didn't have an identity. I didn't have really purpose in my life. So the thing that makes me cry today is seeing people that walk around without a father. It's seeing people that are limited because they don't have someone to show them who they are and lead them by the way, because that's what I was looking for in life. So find the thing that makes you cry and write it down, because I'm gonna, I promise you, I'm gonna bring this all together and you will receive clarity by the end of this video. So the fourth question of purpose is what or who annoys you? What or who annoys you, right? So now you should have written these four down and I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you each of these four questions and what they mean and how this can help you with clarity to give you direction in this next season in business, to show you what you can do, what offers, what programs, what products you can create or recreate or rebrand, or like I said, re restructure and redirect things in your life, because these are four questions of purpose, but they also reveal direction. It reveals a path of provision. So what you love reveals a gift that you have, okay? It reveals a gift that you have. And typically, not just one gift, Typically, it reveals multiple gifts that you have. 
Because people tell me all the time, Israel, I don't know what my gift is. Well, what do you love to do? You start there, right? You start there and you start to think through it. And then the other thing about your story, because your gift is also your story. Sometimes we, we haven't been taught to love our gift because we don't know the power of our gift. There's a great word that says in the book of Proverbs, it says a man's gift will, will make room for him and bring him before great men and women. So when you understand your gift and you start to serve it, doors will open that no amount of money can buy. Take it from me. I, when I got into my car accident, I was stuck. I was, un- I was comfortable. And I got into my car accident and I literally released my book within three weeks from my car accident. I started my third business within three days from that car accident. And I released my book, by the way, in two languages within three weeks, a book that was supposed to be released a year and a half later. And that book has opened doors for me that no amount of money can buy. So I'm not speaking to you from a place of theory, but of experience. When you discover your gift and you begin serving it, doors will open. I had somebody ask me the other day, and every time when somebody asks me, I tell them the same answer every time. They say, Israel, if you can go back seven years, 10 years, what would you say to yourself? The answer is simple. I would tell myself, discover your gift and begin serving it which is why I'm going over these four questions of purpose. So the question number two, what do you hate, reveals the solution that you were born to bring to that problem, okay? So a solution that you were born to bring to that problem. I like to use the Moses in the Bible, if you know that reference. Moses, he ran away from Egypt, but God had to bring him right back. He ran away from the thing that he hated but God called him to actually deliver the people from the thing that he hated. So what is that thing in the marketplace that is getting on your nerves? It's annoying, it gets you angry. That's the thing that you were born to eradicate from the face of the earth. What makes you cry reveals a situation that you were born to bring joy to. It reveals a situation that you were born to bring joy to. So I'm reminded of Jesus the Christ, where the Bible says in John 11:35, 35, it says Jesus wept. And it says that the shortest verse of the Bible was that. It's Bible trivia. That's the shortest verse of the Bible. But it says that Jesus is the resurrection. And he was able to restore Lazarus, his friend that died, to restore joy and to bring peace from the situation that made him cry. And last but not least, what are the things that annoy you? Because the things that annoy you, the attributes that get on your nerves, are the things that you are called to transform. Things that you are called to transform. Like I was speaking to someone today, pain that is not transformed is transmitted. And there's a lot of people that are hurting nowadays and they have bad attributes. And maybe it's the thing that you see and it gets on your nerves. Instead of just accusing them, why don't you create a program? Why don't you create a solution to be able to serve them, to help transform their life? And these four questions are a part of my framework called Profit with Purpose Framework. And imagine having a business doing the things that you love, serving the gifts that you have at the same problem, solving the problems that you hate, typically with your gifts, and then taking some of the profits that you've been generating in your purpose-driven business and donating the causes that make you cry so you can bring joy to those situations and those people. And then at the same time, serving the attributes and the people that get on your nerves, and you can transform those attributes and people to make a world a better place. These are the four questions of purpose. If you love this content, click the link below, like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned because I'm gonna be bringing more videos like this to empower you and support you. I'll see you on the next side.